Milton. One of the best, the junior from Owasso, Oklahoma, Shake Milton, is on about four watch lists this year. Tulane getting into the defensive side. Oh, a little Euro, and it drops for Ona Embo. That goes back to Larry Brown. Larry Brown hates isolation basketball as Ona Embo hits the three. Three ball, splash down for Jure Foster, who's a 35% three-point shooter. So far this year with 10 wins, corner three rolls around and stays down for Milton. And again, they have shooters. All five guys out in the court are a threat. Superior footwork that time by Cameron Reynolds, the senior from Texas, with a steal. Oof, my. A forceful finish by Foster. And that is a beautiful touch by Ona Embo, the sophomore from France. That was Landrum who came up with a steal. Might have violated the rules that time, and it's going to be a three ball for SMU from Shake Milton. It's Reynolds has it. He's going to be left open. He can hit this. That's a big three. Cuts it to 40-33. to 33. Tulane really had a poor three-point shooting. Oh, my goodness. That's going to count. Wow. Just completely under control. Again, sweet touch for Cameron Reynolds. Instead of pass ahead for Frazier. And Frazier! Ooh. Goodness! And a stare down to follow. Daniels is left wide open and he drains the three. And it's a five point game. And now nine for Daniels off the bench. Milton in one. Cornish, and it is a one-point game. Getting up their offense. Milton, so smooth. That's a two. It's him. This would tie it. Turned over. Frazier. The defense here now an open three ball again. Tulane can't miss right now. Melvin Frazier lights it up. Well, they go to Shake Milton. That tends to quiet desperate thoughts. Step back. And he got enough rim. And shot looked short coming out of his hand, but it goes in for guys like that. And absolutely. How about it? Eight out of eight from the line. And that might do it. McMurray. It's tapped in with eight tenths of a second remaining. Okay. The miracle for the tie is way off, and Tulane gets a big win for Mike Dunleavy Sr. Both teams are now two and one in the American, and it's the first win in nearly five years for the Green Wave against the Ponies.